All right, guys, just a quick and dirty video here. I'm going to get right to the point. So you're here because you have codes P287B and possibly 2831 and 32. Maybe a different, maybe the last two may be different, but you have P82, P287B. I have a diagnostic video right here, and I will, I'm going to put that in the description before you continue here with this video. If you've already determined that your case is bad, and that your shift drum stops are broken, let me show you the easy way with no special tools to replace the case half. I'm going to be showing you an excerpt from this video of mine for my project focus. And once again, if you haven't seen that diagnostic video I just mentioned a second ago, you should definitely check it out and because it could just be a TCM problem. But if you follow the instructions on that video and you've turned the clock gears and you've and you suspect that your shift drum stops are broken, or you've already tried a TCM, then this video is for you. Okay, so once you get the transmission out, if you're not sure how to do that, I've, I'll link a video for that too, to get the transmission out on a focus. This video also applies to Fiesta. Set the transmission down with the clutch portion facing the bottom of the table. Um, do you see these inverted Torx bolts all the way around? Loosen them all, and there's also two on the opposite side going the other way, right there. Break them all loose and pull them out. This is my other video that I'm recording. <laughs> Looks like I can pry up here. I bet there's another provision on the other side. So yeah, just look for the two slots that you can pry up on. Oh, I need to unbolt these two. Take those six bolts off. They hold the output shafts to the case. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I've never taken it apart this way. Yeah, just pry right there. Over on the other side now. And there's another one right there you can pry on. I mean, it's probably not a provision, it's, but it's something you can use. It worked fine for me. Holy cow, I think it's going to work. <laughs> Just pry up evenly on both sides, a little at a time, and look at this. Holy cow, I'm doing it this way from now on. Guys, it just ridiculously easy. It, uh, the case literally, once you pop it off of that, it just slides right off. And the only thing you're going to have to do is get the magnet and clean it up, put some grease on it, and stick it to the new case after that you put on where it belongs. And uh, that way it'll stay in there when you install the case half down on the transmission. But yeah, if you do it this way, you're not going to have to buy any special tools. You're not going to have to pull the clutch out and relock it and pull the case halves off and replace the input shaft bearing and all that. You literally just pull the transmission out, slap it on its face, and unbolt the case halves, and it slides apart, and it looks like this. Now, like in the other video, I'm sure you're aware, that's the shift drum stop that likes to break right there. So, once again, I'll link that video down in the description if you haven't seen that already. Because you could just have a TCM issue, or you could have a sheared shift drum stop, which may be why you're here. So, well, I will say, once when you're getting ready to go back together with it, and here's the magnet. Once again, take the magnet, clean it off, use some grease to stick it right there. And let it, and the grease will help it stick there. You can also use transmission assembly lube to hold it there. Make sure you clean off any debris from the uh, gear here if it fell off when you pulled the case app off. Okay, if you look here towards the right, throughout the transmission, you're going to see pins like that. Before you put the case halves together, make sure they're slid down in the holes in their respective holes there. Once again, there's going to be multiple of them. Just, I'm pretty sure, just go around and make sure everything's in where it's supposed to be and then the case half should slide together correctly. If any of those pins had backed out and fell out and the arms out dislocated, it's possible you could get the case half together, but then you'll have to pull the transmission back out when it's not working properly. I believe that is the parking paw right there, so you'll lose park, and it might bounce around and damage something too. So just be mindful and be careful and make sure everything's put back together and didn't fall apart when you separated the case halves. But yeah, just in summary, once again, this will save you a lot of money and a lot of headache. You're not going to have to use special tools and get that table. To, um, I'm sure you're aware of that, possibly aware of that table that you set the output shafts in and flip the whole transmission over. No, you just do it this way and you won't have to take the clutch and all that out and replace the input shaft bearing and all that. So this is the easy way to do it. I've done it once. Uh, one important thing I forgot to mention um, go around, uh, scrape the old silicone off the case half mating surface all the way around, and then clean it with, uh, I usually use brake cleaner and a rag, but, uh, you could use a microfiber cloth and some rubbing alcohol, something like that. Get the case half spotlessly clean. 
and then get a tube of TA-16. That is Motorcraft TA-16 silicone. It's a small tube, but it'll be enough. Okay, just put a bead around there, go on the inside of the bolts. You're just trying to prevent it from leaking. All right, and if those two output shaft flanges with the three bolts rotated, just try to get them back where they were roughly. They will they should line up with the bolts on the case when you slide it down. And if you get them close, that'll be fine. You can get a pick in there and, and turn the flanges by hand to line them up perfectly. Don't use an impact on those six bolts up here because you can strip out the flanges pretty easy. Just use hand tools. And of course, you'll want to drain the fluid because you'll probably spill it all when you pull the uh, case halves off. The uh, Motorcraft XT11 QDC is the uh, factory fluid. That's what's recommended for it. XT11 QDC. It takes 1.75 quarts. You can also use any type of like 75W80 transmission fluid. I've been doing that and I haven't had an issue with it. That's your call. That's not what it calls for, but I've had good luck with it. And that's significantly cheaper. It's not, you know, $40 a quart. It's probably half that. That about covers it. These uh, bearings up here on top of the output shaft are serviceable separately if you buy them on Amazon. It wouldn't hurt to spin them and make sure they're not roaring while you're in here. Try to get a better view of them there. There's a better view of them. Yeah, just spin them by hand and make sure they're not roaring. They are sealed bearings, so if they're roaring, that means they're bad. It doesn't mean they're dry. Um, but... Uh, if you get the uh, Timken bearings on Amazon, that will that worked fine for me. I did that once. Okay, um, I'll go ahead and stop the video there. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day, and good luck to you.